Hello kids, welcome to today's maths class and today we will do understanding fractions. Let's revisit. Look at each group having three cakes. For each group, decide which shade piece is the smallest, which is the largest and which comes in between. Write your answer next to the fraction. One has been done for you. So, here total 8 equal part. After that, 2 are shaded. So, fraction is 2 by 8. Here, the fraction is 1 by 8 and here it is 5 by 8. So, smallest is 1 by 8, largest is 5 by 8 and between is 2 by 8. Here, the fraction is 11 upon 16. It's 2 upon 16 and 8 upon 16. In all the fraction, denominator are same, 16, 16, 16. So, the fraction who has the greater numerator, means the upper part, will be the greatest. So, this is the largest. Smallest and in between. Like this, you can compare. Clear? Next is understanding fractions. The figure given below are divided into equal parts. Some part of each figure are colored. The fraction numbers for the color part is written along with each figure. So here, the whole is colored. It represents one whole. Divided to two equal part, out of that one is shaded, it represents one by two. Here, four equal part, out of that one is shaded, it represents one by four. Three equal part, out of that two are shaded, two by three, and it represents two by five. Clear? So, fractions are equal part of the shape or collection. The numbers such as one half, one third, two third are known as fraction numbers. So, all these are fraction numbers. A fraction is written by using two numbers which are called the terms. Like here, symbols which are 1 half ka 1 by 2, 1 third 1 by 3, 2 third 2 by 3. They are known as the fraction. Each fraction is written in the form of the upper part as numerator and the lower part that is known as denominator. Numerator is the part referred to and the denominator a total number of equal part. Next is multiple intelligence. Solve the riddle given below. First is a day is what fraction of the week? So day, a day means one day. Total of the hai, seven day. So one by seven. That is the correct answer. This is how you will find the fraction of given questions. Next is concept of equivalent fraction. Equivalent fraction means equal fractions whose values are equal. Nishi and Mintu are eating a pizza. Nishi has 1 by 4 of pizza and Mintu has 2 by 8 of pizza. So here Nishi has 1 by 4 pizza and Mintu has 2 by 8. Now here, both Nishu and Mintu have same amount of pizza. 1 by 4 and 2 by 8 are same. Because 2 by 8 ko lowest pe change karenge, that is same as 1 by 4. So we will say that 1 by 2 and 2 by 8 are equivalent fraction. Clear? These are equivalent fraction. So two or more fraction that represent the same part of the whole are called equivalent fraction. Next is forming equivalent fractions. To form an equivalent fraction, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. Now, we will take an example, find two equivalent fraction for 1 by 3. So, here we have to find the equivalent fraction for 1 by 3. So, what we will do? We will multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number. Here we will multiply by 2. So, we will get 2 by 6. Here multiply by 3. So, we'll get 3 by 9. So, 1 by 3, 2 by 6 and 3 by 9. All these are 
equivalent fraction. It is similar to finding the factors of the numbers. Next is to find out if two fractions are equivalent or not. To check the equivalent of two fraction cross multiply. Multiply the numerator of one fraction with the denominator of the other fraction and the numerator of other fraction with the denominator of first fraction. If the product are equal that means the fractions are equivalent or equivalent. Numerator of the first multiply by the denominator of second equals to denominator of the first multiply by numerator of the second. Examples of Samashtha check whether 1 by 3 and 3 by 9 are equivalent fractions. So we we'll cross multiply. First fraction numerator multiply by the denominator of the second fraction. So 1 into 9 that is equal to 9 and the numerator of the second fraction multiply by the denominator of first fraction. 3 into 3 that is 9. That means both 1 by 3 and 3 by 9 are equivalent fraction. This way we can check whether the fractions are equivalent or not. Next is practice corner 8.1. Complete the following 1 by 5 equals to 2 by 10 equals to here what we have multiplied we have multiplied 1 by 5 both numerator and denominator by 2 so we will get 2 by 10 here 1 by 5 equals to denominator is 15 that means we have multiplied it by 3 that means we will multiply numerator by 3 so 3 by 15. 5 into 9, 45, 1 into 9, 9 by 45. This is the way we will do it. Clear? So, you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is reducing fraction to their lowest term. 2 upon 4. So, to change into lowest term, what we will do? We will divide both the numerator and denominator by their HCF. So, 2 so divide will get 1 by 2 and here divide both numerator and denominator by 5. So, we will get 1 by 4. Here, 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 are the fraction in their simplest form or lowest term. When the numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1, the fraction is said to be in the simplest form. Here, the numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1, that means they are in their simplest form. Divide by the common fractions to get the fraction in its simplest form or lowest term. Here, 14 upon 28. So, what we will do? We will divide it by the common factor. So, here we will divide both by 14. So, we will get 1 by 2. That is its lowest form or simplest form. Here, divided by first, we will divide by 2. So, we will get 7 upon 14. Now again we will divide by 7, we will get 1 by 2. So that is the simplest form of that fraction. Continuing dividing by the common factors, all the fraction in its lowest form. For example, reduce 15 upon 35 to its lowest form. So common factors of 15 and 35 are 5, so we will divide both by 5. So we will get 3 by 7. Now 3 and 7 have no common factor other than 1, so they are in lowest term. Next is practice corner 8.2. Fill in the equivalent fraction 7 upon 21, both sides, numerator and denominator divided by 7 will get 1 upon 3. So, 7 upon 21 and 1 upon 3, they are equivalent fraction. So, you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is like and unlike fractions. Fraction with the same denominator are called like fraction. Like here 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 1 by 5, 4 by 5, 6 by 5. All have the same denominator 5, so they are like fraction. Fraction with the different denominator are called unlike fraction. Like here the denominator are 4, 5, 7 and 3. So these are unlike fraction. Next is unit fraction. Unit means 1. The fraction with the numerator 1 is called unit fraction. For example, 1 by 3, 1 by 5, 1 by 7, all these are unit fraction. Next is proper and improper fraction. 
look at the fraction 1 by 3, 5 by 5 and 7 by 6. So it is 1 by 3, 5 by 5 and it is 7 by 6. So the fraction which are less than 1 whole are called proper fraction means once a less than that means they are proper fraction in proper fraction the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So in proper fraction the numerator is always smaller than the denominator. For example, 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 7 by 9, 4 by 5, 1 by 9. All these are proper fraction because the numerator is less than denominator. Clear? In 5 by 5, both the numerator and denominator are equal. It is equal to whole number. So fraction which are more than one whole is called improper fraction. In an improper fraction, the numerator is always greater than the denominator. So here in fractions, the numerator is greater than the denominator. That means all these are improper fraction. Next is mixed fraction. Let us look at the improper fraction 5 by 4. So 5 by 4 can be written as 1 whole and 1 by 4. 1 whole and 1 by 4. That is equals to 5 by 4. 5 by 2 that is equals to 2 whole and 1 by 2. A combination of a whole number and a proper fraction is known as mixed fraction. So mixed fraction is the combination of whole number and a proper fraction. 2 1 by 5, 4 3 by 5, 1 1 by 4 all these are mixed fraction. Next is conversion of fractions. Converting improper fraction into mixed fraction. Convert the improper fraction 7 by 2 into mixed fraction. So we need to know how many whole are there in 7 by 2. So what we will do? Divide the numerator by the denominator. We will get 2 whole and remainder 1. Write the mixed fraction with the quotient as the whole number and the proper fraction with the remainder and numerator and divisor as denominator like here 7 by 2. So what we will do? We will divide 7 by 2 this quotient this become the whole part and this remainder it become the numerator and the divisor is the denominator. So 3 1 by 2 that is a mixed fraction clear. Next is converting a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Convert a mixed fraction 2, 3 by 5 to an improper fraction. So multiply the denominator of 3 by 5 with the whole number 2. So 5 into 2 that is 10. Add the product to the numerator of fraction part 3 by 5. So 10 plus 3 that is 13. 13 is the numerator of the improper fraction. Its denominator will be the same as the of fraction part. So 5 is the denominator of the improper fraction. So 2, 3 by 5 is written as 13 by 5 as an improper fraction. So what we will do? 2, 3 by 5. So we'll multiply this denominator and this whole part. That is equal to 2. And then add numerator to it. That is 13. And write the denominator. Right? 13 by 5. Clear? Here. W means whole part, numerator and denominator. Whole part multiplied by denominator plus numerator upon denominator. That is equals to improper fraction. So this is the way we can change a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Next is practice corner 8.3. A fraction whose value is less than one whole is called a proper fraction. Clear? So you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is comparison of fractions. First is comparison of like fraction. To compare like fraction, we compare their numerator. For example, let us compare the fractions 6 by 7 and 4 by 7. Both have same denominator 7. That means they are like fractions. So now we'll compare the numerator. 6 by 7 and it is 4 by 7. 
so from the figure it's clear because 6 is greater than 4 that means 6 by 7 is greater than 4 by 7 numerator of 6 by 7 is greater than the numerator of 4 by 7 thus for comparing like fraction we compare the numerator the one with the greater numerator is greater next is comparison of unlike fraction with same numerator to compare unlike fraction with the same numerator we compare their denominator like here 7 upon 11 and 7 by 5 both have same numerator 7 so we'll compare the denominator the number who have greater denominator that will be the less so here 7 by 11 is less than 7 by 5 the fraction with a smaller denominator is greater for unlike fraction with the same numerator clear next comparison of unlike fraction with the different numerator to compare unlike fraction with the different numerator we first convert unlike fraction to like fraction compare 7 by 3 and 3 by 12 they are unlike fraction because denominator are different so first we'll convert into like fraction so how multiples of 3 and these are the multiple of 12 so first we'll find out the lcm so lcm of 3 and 12 are 12 so common multiple 2 by 3 multiply by 4 both numerator and denominator that become 8 by 12 now denominator is 12 and here the denominator is 12 now they are like fractions so we'll compare the numerator here the numerator is 8 and here the 3 so 8 by 12 is greater than 3 by 12 another method is cross multiplication method in this method we'll multiply the numerator of first fraction to the denominator of the second fraction 2 into 12 and the numerator of second fraction to denominator of first fraction 3 into 3 9 that means 2 by 3 is greater than 3 by 12 clear next is order of fraction we can arrange fraction in ascending or descending order so write in ascending order we have to write all these fraction into ascending order means increasing order here they have the same numerator and the denominator is different so what we'll do we'll compare the denominator the number who have larger denominator is the smaller so ascending order is 3 by 7 3 by 6 3 by 5 3 by 4 and 3 by 2 that is the increasing order means this is the least and this one 3 by 2 is the greatest clear so this way we can write the fraction in ascending or descending whatever is asked to you clear next is practice corner 8.4 use greater than less than or equals to 3 by 7 and 2 by 7 like fraction so the number or the fraction who has the greater numerator is greater so 3 by 7 is more than 2 by 7 clear so you have to practice all the questions of this exercise next is addition and subtraction of like fractions first is addition of like fractions add 5 by 8 and 2 by 8 like fractions so what we'll do we'll simply add the numerator and write the common denominator below so 5 plus 2 that is 7 and the common denominator that is 8 so the answer is 7 by 8 to add like fraction we simply add the numerator and write the common denominator so 5 by 8 plus 2 by 8 that is equals to 7 by 8 next is subtraction of like fraction subtract 5 upon 11 from 7 upon 11 so solution ho jayega we subtract the numerator in case like fraction they are like fraction because denominator are same so what we'll do we'll simply subtract the numerator and write the common denominator below so 7 upon 11 minus 5 upon 11 that is equals to 7 minus 5 upon 11 that is 2 upon 11 that is our 
answer. Clear? Next is practice corner 8.5. Find the sum 3 by 10 plus 4 by 10. Like fraction, so simply we add the numerator and write the common denominator below. That is 7 by 10. We will always write the answer in lowest form. Clear? So practice all the questions of this exercise. Next we will do addition and subtraction of unlike fraction. When we want to add or subtract unlike fraction, First, we need to change them into like fraction. Then we can add or subtract easily. For example, add 1 by 3 and 3 by 6. So, steps ke ho jayenge. First, these are unlike fractions because denominator are different. So, first we will find the LCM of denominator 3 and 6. So, first we will find the LCM of 3 and 6. So, the LCM is 6. Now, what we will do? Change both the denominator of LCM. So, change both denominator to 6. So, 1 by 3. So, what we will do? LCM is 6. First fraction is 1 by 3. So, what we will do? We will divide 6 by 3. Answer is 2. So, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. So, we will get 2 by 6. And this is 3 by 6. Now, we can add them same way we add the like fraction. So, 2 plus 3 that is 5 by 6. That is our answer. Clear? So, you have to practice all the examples here. Next is practice corner 8.6. Add the following 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6. They are unlike fractions. So, first we will convert into like fraction by taking LCM. LCM is 6. So, 1 by 3. 2 by 6 and it is already denominator 1 by 6. Now, we can add them. 2 by 6 plus 1 by 6. That is 3 by 6. 1 by 2. That is our answer. So, practice all the questions here. Next is word problems. Nikhil ate 2 by 4 a pizza. Niharika ate 1 by 4 a pizza. Who ate more pizza and by how much? So, here we have to compare. So, we will subtract. Pizza eaten by Nikhil that is 2 by 4. Pizza eaten by Niharika that is 1 by 4. So, we will compare. 2 by 4 and 1 by 4. Both are like fraction. So, 2 by 4 is greater than 1 by 4. How much? So, we will subtract 2 by 4 minus 1 by 4. That is 1 by 4. So, Nikhil ate 1 by 4 of the pizza more than Neharika. Clear? Next is practice corner 8.7. Solve the following. Shikhar spent 1 by 3 of his money on fees and 1 by 3 of money on books. What fraction of money did he spend on all? So, what we will do? We will add them together. 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3. That is 2 by 3. So, this fraction of money he has spent in all. So, practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is multiple choice question. Take the correct option. Which one of the following is smallest? 5 by 9, 6 by 9, 7 by 9. Like fraction? So, the fraction with the smallest numerator is the smallest. So, 5 by 9 is the smallest one. Clear? So, here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now, you have to practice it.